Welcome. Today, this one we're going to look at is tension equilibrium. So stuff that involve tension equilibrium. Uh, you may say, hey, we already looked at the rod hanging there. Isn't that already tension equilibrium? Yes, but this one is double tension. So tension times two, we're going to see what that means. A quick recap on what tension is. It can be in a rope, a string, or an object compressed or pulled. But most commonly, we're going to look at strings. So let's say this guy is pulling with some force. It's going to cause a tension like that. So let's say we cut out one mini, mini little section on the rope there. That small piece of the rope is going to experience some force pulling to the right, but also some force pulling to the left. Why is there a force pulling left? Oh, because this other guy is also holding it. It's thing a force. So basically, if you cut off the whole rope into mini sections everywhere, every single section will experience a force to the right, a force to the left. Force to the right, force to the left, force to the right, left, right, left, right, left. And eventually there's too many arrows, so we just say, okay, tension is just spread out throughout this whole thing. Spread out, so-called spread out. Which means, um, if you have a pulley or something in between, tension will be the same on either side, okay? That's what we looked at. If you have pulley, no friction, and you pull like that, tension, tension is the same. Okay, if you have an object hanging, the object will experience upwards tension force. That's what it means, lah, straight out of this whole thing. So let's take a look at what are the kinds of uh, tension-related questions, tension times two questions uh, in this chapter. First one is about a picture on the wall. A picture on the wall is supported by a wire loop over a nail. The mass of picture is that weight. What is the tension supporting the wire? Look around your house or where you are. Are there things hanging on the wall, hang by a string? If there is, it's pretty much the same thing. So the nail is this thing, round thing in the middle. Got a string and this is the back of a picture. La. This is the back. So they're asking, what's the tension in the supporting wire? Let's first draw the tension. This uh, picture frame going to have some forces acting on it. Firstly is the weight, right? So I, I guess the center of gravity, CG, is here, so you can say the weight comes down. What's the weight? 4.2 kg, so 4.2 times 9.81. So I'm just going to put 4.2 g. This g is 9.81, uh, it's not grams, it's 9.81. Okay, then the tension, huh? Uh, this picture frame will experience a tension like that and like that. Two points. Pointing up. Important to note that these two tensions are the same. So I'm going to circle them and say same. There's just two because there's two points hanging up. Okay, is that all we know about this question? Okay, so hmm, picture on the wall. They didn't say the picture is flying. It's not dropping. It's just there. So you can say it's in equilibrium, which means. There should be no net torque, no net force. But in this case, I think it's enough to think about the forces. So let's think about forces. Net force should be zero. Hmm. The horizontal components should be zero, firstly. Is this true or not? What are the forces that have horizontal in it? Tension only. I redraw the diagram up there. I'm going to get uh, something like this. There's a weight, uh, tension, and tension. Not to scale, by the way. I mean, my drawing is not to scale. Okay, You have some 25 degree and ooh, 25 degree. So the only uh, forces that have a horizontal component to them are tension, and these are equal. Okay, So tension will have... If you want to find this, will be T adjacent hypotenuse, T cos 25. This will be T cos 25. These are the horizontal parts. So, yeah, it's zero. Check. How about the vertical? Should also be zero. What's go pulling the frame down? Weight. Oh, so we have the weight going down 4.2 times 9.81.
Anything else? Oh no, tension is all pointing upwards. So tension, if I zoom in a bit, this is the T, this is your angle, and you have Ty, which is the vertical component of tension. So what's Ty again? Opposite hypotenuse. So, so sine. So you can say the Ty is the, the part going up, so T sine 25. That's for one side of the string. Got another part. So T sine 25 again. Because got two string ma, one tension, one tension, one tension. Although although they are technically the same string, but there's two tension forces at play. So you need to remember there's two. So if you want to shortcut a bit, you can just say, oh, it's just two T sine 25. Also can. So on the left side, 4.2 times. 9.81. What do we get for T? Grab a calculator. Uh, divide by 2, divide by sine 25. You should get about 48.75 Newton. Round off to 2 sig fig will be about 49 Newtons. So that is the answer for the questions like this. The key thing to remember is if there are stuff hanging on the wall, there's actually two tension forces. Okay, one on the right side, one on the left side. That's where these two come from. Okay, remember components, tension, and things like that.